Hey guys, Justin here. Now in this video, I'm going to be looking at anti-tank weapons. As you can see, there's quite a few, you know, really, it's, you know, the anti-tank weapons. They're some of my all-time favourite weapons in the game. So, I mean, everyone knows how much I love the Sturm Pistol. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, but I'm just going to be ranking them from worst to best. So, let us begin. Can we get it number 9? It's actually the Molotov Cop Tower now. This one's gonna be, I, I'm guessing none of you saw this one coming, but the Molotov Cocktail is technically an anti-tank weapon. It was designed to, well, stop tanks. It was a cheap way to stop tanks, and yeah, it's a pretty bad one. Now, I'm going to base all of these on the Normandy campaign, because the Molotov Cocktail can be useful in Moscow, especially against the basic tanks, but really the only tank I've seen is used useful against is the Puma really. Everything else just shrugs this one off. Like it I mean it's not really much you can do. It does. Now I will say I will be excluding engineer buildings and I will be excluding tanks. But yeah. Not really much you you know, this thing isn't really that good. Which is why it's coming in at the bottom of this list. Anyways, let's move on to the next bat the the next attack weapon, which is slightly better than the Molotov Cocktail, but believe me, it's not by much. Coming in at number eight is the Car 98K with the anti-tank rifle grenade. Now I've shit on this I've shot on this weapon so many times since this thing first came out. I've called this the worst weapon in the act I've called it the worst weapon in Normandy and I've just said it's slightly better than the Molotov in terms of how bad it, it's, it's, it's bad it's bad the rifle grenades can barely kill anything it's just awful I mean what can I say about it that's good I mean all it does is is it you know it can fire a k you know it can fire you know an AT grenade which can barely kill anything <sighs> let's go on to number seven yeah this is things awful coming in at number seven is the M1 Garand with the rifle grenades now I'm not basing this on the oh the Garand's better than the car 98 K I'm basing it on the fact that a the Americans will encounter something like the Puma more often than the Axis will encounter a lighter tank which the um, which the grenades can um, take out and B critically well just the I think the anti-tank grenades are actually better on this I'm not really too sure but they feel better with the M1 Garand so yeah that's why mostly mostly because this thing can take out Pumas so yeah which is why it's coming in at number 7. Anyway, let's move on to number 6. Coming in at number 6 is the anti-tank mine. Now, the anti-tank mine is really good. You could deploy it and it will pretty much take out anything. I've seen these take out panthers. I've taken out jumbos with this thing. It's really good. The only reason it's at number 6 is it's very situational. You can either A, deploy it in front of a tank and then blow it up manually. Or B, deploy it like some common entrance and block that. Which I think is really good. Now, like I said, the AT mine is not, it's not the best. But it, it's fine, it's fine. You can't go wrong with, you can't go wrong with an AT mine. Which is why it's coming in at number 6. Now, the re now there is a big jump between this and the rifle grenade. So, which is why... It, I mean, number six is still pretty good for it. Anyways, let's move on to number five. Coming in at number five is the bazooka. Now, I'm not a fan of the bazooka much, but I will say one thing. It does its... It, it's a good long-ranged option, and it does that job quite well. In fact, I'm pretty sure it's the longest... Like, at minimum range, it's 100 metres, and at max, I think it's 400, which is really good. That's insane, as Especially with something like the bazooka. The only reason it's not any higher is that I, I'm not really too fond of it. It's it's not bad, but 
yeah, in my opinion, this it's not as reliable as the other anti-tank weapons. It has the advantage of the range, which is why it's not complete bottom. But anyways, and let's be honest, it's be it's it's much better than the than everything before it. Like the only thing you can probably claim might be better is the AT mines, but the AT mines, they're you know they're situational, so you can't really comment. You know, oh. This thing is universally better. This, you know, the AT mines are universally better. The um, bazooka is universally better, which is why I'm, I'm putting the bazooka slightly higher. It's very close, but the rest of the top five, you know, there's a bit, there's a bit of a jump between these. Anyways, let's move on to number four. Coming in at number four is the stern pistol. Now you knew this was coming. The stern pistol is a really good anti-tank weapon. Now. I've destroyed panthers with this thing, I've destroyed jumbos with this thing, I've destroyed basically almost every tank in the game with it, like, it can come up against with this thing. The only reason it's slightly, it's low, is because I just think the, the top three are better at, at, at taking out tanks than the Sturm Pistol. Now, the Sturm Pistol is still really good, it is hindered by a few things. It's reload is awful. Honestly, even I will admit that. The reload for the Sturm Pistol is one of the worst in the game. The only... Like, it is generally just so slow. Which hinders it. As well as this, it's really a skill-based weapon. You have to be very skilled with this. In order to use it to its full potential. If, you, if you're not skilled with it, you'll probably end up... Wasting it, which is why you know most people don't use it. It's why most people throw it off and say it's useless. Anyways, let's move on to number three. Coming in at number three is the Piat. Now, it's amazing that the Piat IRL was not that was actually not that good, but in game it's one of the best AT weapons in the game. Like I've taken out almost everything with the Piat. Panthers, Jumbos, you name it. It is a solid AT. I mean, it fires a heat round, so... Yeah. You can't go wrong with that. It will... It, if you hit this thing on, onto a weak spot of any tank, it will destroy it. The reason it's so good... Is because you basically have... Well... A, a heat round, and B, it's just, it can be used basically anywhere against most tanks to do really good damage. Again, like the, like the um, Strong Pistol, it is a skill-based weapon. You will have to know where to aim in order to have the best effect with this thing, but, yeah, it's more, it's a perfect match for any tank, which is why it's getting the number three up, the number three place. Now, it was close between this and number two, but I had to wedge out number two. Anyways, let's move on to number two. Coming in at number two is the Panzerfaust. Now, the Faust is just great. I've destroyed every tank in the game with the pan with the Panzerfaust. I'm not even kidding. I've destroyed Fireflies. I've destroyed Jumbos. I've destroyed Panzer Fours, Panzer Threes, Pumas. I've destroyed Tunisia vehicles, I've destroyed Moscow vehicles, I've destroyed everything with the Panzerfaust. It is just a... Honestly, I would say this is actually worth grinding just to get it because it's so good. Like, it's a very good anti-tank anti weapon. Oh, sorry about that. It's a very good anti-tank weapon and yeah, it's just great. It will knock out most tanks, it knocks out Jumbos, it knocks out M10s, it knocks out pretty much everything you throw it against. Now, there is, however, one thing, and I'm pretty sure everyone see, knows what it is, which is what, like, the Faust is great, but you can, mistype, you can misfire the shot. There is one thing you don't even need to misfire. And I'm pretty sure you guys know what it is. Coming in at number one, this thing. 
This thing is pure evil. This is by far the most overpowered weapon in the game. Now, the explosive pack is dirty powerful. You throw this at the tank, it will blow it up. You throw it at infantry, it, they will die. It will. It is. It is basically the instant nuke option for tanks. You throw this. All you gotta do is throw it under the tank into the into the transmission, and the tank will die. It is honestly just one of the most destructive weapons in the game, and it's it will take out pretty much everything on a tank. It will take out Jumbos, it will take out Tigers, it will take out anything. Which is why it's getting the number one pick. Anyways, that's my list. Hope you guys have enjoyed. Leave your thoughts in the comments and I'll see you guys in the next video.